<laughs> I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I, uh, persuaded Mark Fostenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. gave me is wearing off. I've been watching you do laps for like... Hey! Who the fuck are you? Yo, what do you think you're doing here, man? This is private property. Just pretend I'm not here, kids. Um... <laughs> crazy. <gasps> Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick, I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me and Nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. Change my mind. Oh my god, man. You're awesome.
submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd! Don't... Go quiet on me or I'll come around and, and I'll... Well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um... Alright. Bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary foes on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Meriwether are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them! Oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay. Well, that's more like it. I'm here. Oh, hmm. It's around the corner, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and controlled and tricked me. You don't want to cut, just walk away. 
I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah. You can pull up. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. Like we're ready to go with everything. Floyd well, don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. Oh, I am so sorry. Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. Clean. 
clean as you get. Very nice. Stop wandering about like a fart in a pair of pants. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else of nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. Hard shot, like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Now lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Where you going? Alburo Heights. Hurry the fuck up!
Here's Trevor. Gee, you're right. Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The Bonds are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're gold. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Alright guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back to the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh yeah, 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 get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. Alright man, I got you, dawg. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Fight me. You're a fine fucking fool. Getaway vehicle ready and waiting. Good work, T. Where'd you put it? Davis. <sighs> the 
Jesus! Oh. Oh. Out you get, buddy! Oh. 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 Bullshit! Lucky miss! Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, John. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Hug, uh, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Not me. I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck. And we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams! All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known! I loved him. Careful! Loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line! This is turban warfare, motherfucker! <laughs> It's uncanny! <laughs> oh dear. Poor Jock must think we're bad. Oh, oh, my word! Jock! Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably right wing. One can but hope. Liberal in the bedroom. Conservative at the border, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> I love this country. Find out! He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants meth? Oh, my giddy aunt. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. Oh, I hope he likes us. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. 
do little by little, eh? And... Is he going through the hospital? Oh my god! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me meet your biggest fan! Ah. Oh, you're fucking crazy! Oh, it's Get off me! me. <laughs> you're good to go! Ah, a true gentleman! This is so exciting! Nut jobs. me! Wanna end up in the back of this? Mm -hmm. oh!
beyond annoying. Sanitation truck's there now, so don't you bother. Truck. Oh my blade. Only have yourself to blame. Tow truck is at the lot.
offered me a job in corporate, I said no. This is where I belong. Suits can come off the shopping list. Just to say, I got us some headgear for this masquerade balls up. All right, that's everything. I'll call Steve, tell him we're ready to move on this. Guys, I'm expecting company. All I right. want this place clean. Wade, you tidy. Floyd, massage. Uh, no, no, I really well, don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, no, huh? no, no. Does anyone want that? No, no. You're right. You're right. You're... Hey, bro. What's up? Oh, hey, bro. You're late. Nine years. Fucking late. You know, you're so late. In fact, that you have no right to call me, bro. Is that clear? Uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh yeah. Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. Uh, kid idolized his <laughs> creeps. Yo! Uh, yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, I've done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. 
So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. And you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. You, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you! Ah, better! I like that! Fuck you! Good! Good! All right, now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master! Let's go, Junior! Hey, wait! Get Michael a wetsuit, or I take him to the boat. Oh! Stop dragging your heels, kid! We need some transport! Hold on! Taking Shit. you to the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass. Almost forgot. Here's the rifle with a the thermal scope. Almost forgot. I was kind of sold on like a well organized job, planned out, with Lester's weird eye for detail. I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of blow being drywall. Uh, okay, man. I'm grateful for that, dog. But, but buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. Not really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool, so what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. You heard of Meriwether? Uh, yeah, maybe. Meriwether Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private, so they cost more. Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil. And what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's got to be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people who try to stop us. Stop in the car in the median here. Head to your shooter's nest and call Mike. All right, man, whatever. Shit. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hey, yo, there's two guards. These are bad dudes, right? I read up about these fools online. Yeah, they're a nasty bunch. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. I got four bombs to plant, kid. Look out for me while I do it. There's some serious manpower on this ship. First bomb is planted and armed. I'm moving up to the next position. Hey, do this quick, man. I don't know how much backup they got below deck. I can do it quick or I can do it right, okay? Over there! What was that? Hey, you got a clear path. Plant the bomb! Second bomb's in place. 
halfway there. Who goes there? Hey, if this is Trevor's thing, why ain't he doing any other wet work? Because he's screwing around in a submarine. I don't know how we got roped into this shit. You need to move! I'm still getting 
the hang of this diving thing. Yeah, it's it. I found it. Okay, incoming. It wouldn't be top secret or very valuable, would it? It ain't doing anything to the water, is it? I'm swimming around in this. Well, it could give you powers, turn you into infinite rage. Ha <laughs> nah. Just take a shower after, you'll be fine. Uh, how did I let myself get talked into this? There it is. I'm grabbing it. Hey, go easy with that thing. Go tell them what it can do. So, you uh, am I done now? You're done. Team's meeting at Pier 400 for a degree. Beers are on me. I'll stay for one. That's what you always say. Yeah, well, I mean it now. Floyd, come in. I got the package. Are you at the dock? Sir, yeah, uh, I'm here. I heard gunshots and the explosions. Keep it together. I'll be there soon. Man, you can say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that Lester? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA, you can fuck with them all day long, but... When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! H hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What'd you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah, I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck. Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed. What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. Send out a cab post haste? Not a problem. What? I spoke to Steve. We're ready to move. He wants us to bring the stuff to the guy we met at the interrogation, Devin Weston. 
Big time investor, apparently. Now I'll let you handle that. Brown knows and the rich was always your talent, and it looks like you spent the last decade honing it. You moron. Where Thank you. Strawberry. Ooh, pick up the pace, buddy. Hey, we're here. Man, if my mom got with a baller, man, I'm, I'm telling still you, bro, mad that'd be you. death. You ain't right. You already know. I'm on fingers and thumbs. Oh, he's making such a fuss, these celebs. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah, ah apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go? And get him one of his favorite pizzas. No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip. Such fun. Oh, dear, oh, dear, what a palaver this is. Decisions, decisions. If you could just handle this, Jock. Mm -hmm. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please no. I, I, I have money on me. Lots of money. Good to know, well, good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Please let me go. I thought you were a big tough action movie guy. I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, serve fruit cake and Lady Skrulu's back there. No, 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 I, I promise to uh, take it all. Just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al. stealing contracts. You burnt the farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Listen up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, 
You're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, <sighs> on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dawg. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. All right, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? Just a second. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. All right, Mike, move it! Get moving, M. Block both lanes of traffic. I'm stopped. You're on, F. Sanitation aren't meant to be here. You better brace yourselves, you motherfuckers!
yourself, dog, all right? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. You know, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. 
Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Eh, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connects just as soon as you. All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. You got lucky, buddy. No, come on, Sir. man. I just got that bike. Somebody stop that guy. Screw this. Oh, 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 fuck me. You know what? Jesus. You should see a doctor for that well. shit. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. 
and lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already! Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. pal, make food. Get me. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! 
Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are! Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security! I'm Solomon's assistant! We're gonna crash into something, oh god! Whoa! How did you know there was enough clearance? You're gonna kill someone down here! We're too low, man! We're gonna hit something! You meant to go home with him! Enough! <laughs> Enough! All right, I'll do the shitty movie <laughs> for the shitty money. I'll do anything you want. I'll blow you and just stop. Finally, you come to your senses. I'll take you to the studio. Hey, Milton. What? I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm your apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say, Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. And you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Solomon's office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this hey, story yeah. is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I appreciate, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Whew. 